Hello, I'm Atuba George. Listen, this, this month of December is so loaded. Hallelujah. Now, now, if you've not gotten the rest of the broadcast, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And, and you can go there and listen to, you know, Tango, the, we title them, you know, every week. So you can just go there and listen and listen and get yourself immersed. This, that's what you should be doing for this month of December. So you get so ready for January 2020. Praise God. Listen, I don't know what 2019 has been to you. But let me tell you the truth. It's the worst year you can ever have. Praise God. Yeah, yeah, I mean that. There is no year that is going to be like this again. You know why? Because you're going higher. So this is your, your, your worst year yet. You know what I mean by that? I, I'm not saying all the years you've had this is the worst. I'm just telling you this is the least that you can ever be. Praise God. So from next year you are sailing. But let me tell you the truth. It's not going to happen automatically. It's going to happen because you are committed to the word of God. You are committed to the voice of God. Let me tell you this truth. The Holy Spirit has finished everything that concerns you your whole life <clears throat> you know the lord instructed me to teach on prayer and, and, and i'm trusting him that maybe next week we're going to start you know talking about uh, about this but you see everything about you it is not your prayer that's going to make god give you things you need to understand this Everything has already been scheduled for you. All of it. Everything about your life. That's why the Lord gave us his word. Now when God speaks to you, he's not speaking to you out of the blues. He's speaking to you out of his word that he has written concerning you. The Bible said the works were finished. When? Before the world began. The works were what? Finished. Everything about your life, the, the, the places you will go to, the school you will go to, where you're going to work, if you're going to work, the business you're going to do, who you're going to marry, everything, the children, everything has been written concerning you. That's why receiving God's word is so important. You know why? So you don't live your life in darkness. Now, David said something in Psalm 119. He says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Now, David wasn't talking about the law. No, no, he wasn't talking about the law. He wasn't talking about the book of the law. No, no, no. You see, because when David got into trouble, it's not the book of the law. It's not the, the, the law, the Ten Commandments that brought him out of trouble. What did David do? The Bible said David inquired of the Lord. Now that's one constant thing in David's life. Everything David wants to do, he will inquire of the Lord. You know why? He was looking for the voice of God. He was looking for the word of God to come to him. So David knew. Now that's why he was a champion. That's why he was indispensable. Now that's why he was invincible. Praise God. Nobody can harm him. Do you know what it means for the king to come after you. I'm not talking about the king's friend. I'm talking about the king himself. It means the whole nation is after you. So, so the king released his army. And trust me, the king's army are the most intelligent. The most, oh no, you know what I'm talking about. But David was able to escape every one of it. You know why? Because the word of God was always coming to him. Now that's what's going to make you invincible in life. If the word of God is not coming to you, sincerely speaking, I feel sorry for you. Now, actually, the word of God is coming to you. It's just about you receiving the word of God that is coming to you. See, I've explained this a lot. Samuel didn't pray. Eli didn't lay hands on Samuel to start hearing the voice of God. And even then, the word of God was not yet revealed to him. See, now it was, it was Eli's responsibility to have revealed the word of God to Samuel. How would he have revealed the word of God to Samuel? 
by telling him testimonies. That's how these things work. Share your testimonies. What has the Lord said to you? See? Say it. Don't be afraid. Say, no, I don't want to sound like, um, you know, every time they say, listen, if you hang around me, you will know one thing. I'm always one person that is always doing spirit said, spirit said. See, you know, we, we can just be doing something together. So, you know what the Lord just told me? Oh, yes. I, I was talking to someone recently and it was something that had to do with um, life and something, you know. So I began to speak to him. I said, do you know what happened in, in that issue? And this is exactly what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. And he said, Pastor, how did you know that? I said, the Spirit of God just taught me. He just told me. And he was like, truly? You know that? And I began to bring light. Listen, if you are a court judge, for example, you need this. You, 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 how do you judge? How do you judge cases without the voice of God? It's dangerous. Because he's the truth. See, he, will, he, will, he won't speak a lie to you. Praise God. So you should, you should, ah, you know, you, 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 a, a case is brought before you, say, Holy Spirit, can, can I just hear you speak to me? And then while, while they are giving their testimonies, the word of God is coming. They say, that's a lie. This is the truth concerning. That, I've seen that happen to me several. You say, that, that, no, that's why some of us, you can't deceive us. Because as you're speaking, the Lord is speaking also. <laughs> Praise God. And we believe his testimony more than your testimony. Praise God. I've got to stop here. Hallelujah. Listen, this is just the best life. I'm telling you. There is no other life better than this. It, it's sweet. It, it's... <sighs> See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.